Hello, welcome to Herblender Design. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create professional logo designs using this infinite logo as a case study. Without any further ado, let's get to work. First of all, we'll be setting up our page. Just click on new. From this result and menu bar, I'll just be using the A5 sheet and uh, my unit of measurement is okay. I'll be using landscape resolution at 300 dpi. I'll leave it at that and click OK. All right, so this is what we have. I'll just zoom into our page, zoom to the page width. So we'll have a few settings that will aid us make this logo professionally. So we are going to Go to the view menu, I'm going to turn on our page document grid. Okay, so you can see how that turns out. Then the next thing that is very important, we are also going to turn up it's the snap to. So I need uh, my elements to snap to object. I also need them to snap to guidelines. Okay, so you will see how useful this will become as we proceed along. So from the ruler, just click and drag to get the guideline. I press the letter P on my keyboard to centralize it. The template for the horizontal row. I press the letter P on my keyboard to get it centralized. So now we're going to pick the ellipse too. I hold down the control key, click and drag to make a perfect echo. And uh, we're going to resize this circle to 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter. Press enter to have that. So I can zoom to the page height and zoom to the page height that's fine and this time i'm so going to press the letter p to get this centralized at the middle of the document okay having done this with any of our freehand tool either the pizza tool or the let's use the freehand tool just going to create a vertical line uh, hold and control to get it up to bottom okay so having done this now I'm just going to use see how useful the guide the document grid is so you can use this to just determine the amount of space you would want okay you can either do this or you use a particular size so we're going to use this to so right click and drop to make a copy so we're going to press ctrl d on the keyboard to repeat this action so we have this into four four of it so i'm going to align it to the top and group it ctrl g then i click move it so look at where the align to grid is very important okay see how that snaps to the guideline beautiful so i want to make i want more space actually so i can just adjust this a bit to about this point um okay i'm cool with this this time i'm going to delete the middle circle the middle rectangle uh, line let's work with this other three so select the three lines that is grouped together hold shift and select the circle and press the letter e that will align the circle to the center vertically okay so the next thing we are going to do is to call up i want to rotate this into an angle of one an angle of uh, 120 degrees okay but this is what i have but i need so the importance why i brought in this guideline and aligned i need this is the center of our drawing so i want this object these lines to be rotated 120 degree along the center so what do i do i click on the object again so you can see to activate these gears for rotation then i'll move my center to the center of the circle so note that when you move it by the time you get to the center you just see the word center so you leave it there then you can actually rotate this you can do this manually okay but like i said we are making something professional here so what we're going to do we're going to call up another window docker window that we're going to use so from the windows menu you go to docker and we have transform transform and to call up that shortcut for that is alternate plus function key seven there. okay alternate f7 so you will have this come up so now we want to rotate this angle to 120 degrees all right so make sure that you have moved this 
to the center then you can decide how many copies you want these to do so but i'll leave it at one so we can just see the process so you just click on apply and see what that did and you apply again you have another one so this is what we have a few more steps and we'll be done so now i'm going to create another smaller circle from the edge of this to the edge of this okay. so right now to get it clearer i just change the color and i'll align it to the edges make sure it's being aligned properly because when we'll be building our shape you will need this will come in very handy okay any little disalignment would make us not to achieve what we want so this is fine so one more thing we are going to use the freehand tool this time we're going to be using the three point curve so click on the fly out the small arrow then you have the three point curve down here so from this let me zoom in and zoom out a little so you can see so from this from this angle intersection you click and drag onto this one so you can see how important those grids are so now you can align make sure this aligns properly just let it go also change the color i can zoom in now to see if i have a better alignment okay this is aligned properly this portion i think i just have a little tweak to do a little tweak to do here okay this is fine by me so the next thing we are going to do i left the transform docker open because i'm still going to make use of it so but before i transform this because i want to repeat the same thing for this end and also this end i'll have to test out something uh, the smart feed to make you can see there is a space here that's why this if not is supposed to just fill in this part so i can undo this zoom in properly and make sure i have that aligned out well okay that's still happening another way you can overcome this is to just maybe add a little percentage a uh, little so this is 18 by so i can say 18 by 2 to 18 by 18 by 3 18.3 millimeters and i can also make this 18.3 millimeters what this will do for me to just increase it a little bit more to cover that knowledge okay so that's my feel to try this again this is perfect okay so we don't have any space again so i'm going to select this circle and this arc here press ctrl g to group it then click to turn on the gear and this is our center and i'll apply i still have my angle of 120 degrees let's apply this twice and this is what we are going to have so right now i'm going to zoom out and select marquee selection click and drag to select all okay you can right click from the menu you select ctrl g to group okay why i grouped it so that i can be able to handle the object so the last thing we're going to do is um, create the shape we want to build the shape so we're going to use our smart tool so in the interactive smart view we're going to see the smart view okay so right now we're going to build click now you're wondering why it is yellow you can actually choose any color of your choice from here okay so just click and you will have it build the shape 
see how that turns out nicely it just builds the shape for you have one more here and this is what we have okay so it is important of grouping this now so I can now click and drag to select all of this ordinarily if I didn't group I would start selecting them holding down shift and selecting one after the other so but most times the chances are that you might miss some of them so it's better to group okay so select all and on the property bar you select the world world can combine object into a single curve object with a single view and outline so click on world so you can see it makes that just one object so now the next thing we are going to do is to apply a gradient so from our interactive view click and drag so you can select any other color you just need a darker shade of red you can close this up adjust this to whatever size you prefer okay so the same thing we're going to do click on this now look at where the center is we want to get it to this center and apply once right so this is perfect so now we can take away this skeleton so this is how you can make a professional logo design in Corel Draw with a grid thank you very much for watching if you are new to this channel and find this interesting please subscribe turn on the notification bell so that others can get to so you can get to know when we upload new tutorials like this thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video bye for now